everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. So I'm Tim here at Digital Armour and boy have I got a treat today. Uh, Throne of Eldraine Collector Booster Box, which does not look like your traditional booster box. There's only 12 of them in here and this cost 190 quid. Um, so that is extortionate to be honest, but I had some store credits at my LGS, so why not? Also got an uh, extra one for kind of like the buyer box promo. So just as a little treat, we're going to crack this one first of all before we do all of the usual YouTube business. So let's try and get into this nice and neatly. Now this is so exciting. Wow, they are tight. Okay. Oh, already seen what one of them is. Okay, so we've got a glorious looking Arden Vale Tactician. Really, really like that art. It's just nice, simple, clean and classic. Uh, we've got a foil fell the pheasant. There's going to be a lot of card shaking in this video just to catch the foils. An Arden Vale Paladin and that glow on that lantern. It's crazy. Uh, Blood Haze Wolverine. It's, uh, he's got the crazy eye. Uh, Runaway Together, Inquisitive Puppet, a Thunderous Snapper, we've got Kenrith's Transformation, a Shambling Suit, an Animating Fairy, and that looks lovely as well. Love the storybook arts. Uh, Reaper of Night, and oh, this, yeah, this is just going to be a nightmare knowing what comes when. Garenbrig Carver. Oko's Accomplice and is that oh yeah that's one of the special ones so that's from the Brawl decks because uh, it doesn't have the proper numbers at the bottom and then we've got an extended art Gadwick the Wizard that looks really nice uh, for an extended art card I'm not a fan of extended art personally whoa and a foil Emery Lurker of the Lock extended art wow what a first pack to open and then a foil wolf with full food on the back. Stunning first pack, super excited. So I'm mega hyped now to open the rest of this box. Firstly, just want to give a quick shout out to my lovely, lovely patrons. Uh, they support the channel, help me put out videos, and yeah, just give me the confidence boost that I need to keep doing this. So if you fancy becoming a patron, then there's links in the usual places. Right, let's delve into this then. Let's try and get this shrink wrap off as quickly and timely as possible. That wasn't too bad. Open that out. And get the goodies out. Right, so 12 packs. Let's move the box out of the way. And what I heard is that they have not done a very good job with sorting them out. So I'm just going to give them a super quick kind of shuffle up. Um, just to, yeah, really sort of mess with the order and stuff. So, 12 packs of awesomeness. Let's get going. Um, yeah, so have you guys opened up anything exciting, super pretty, etc. from any Throne of Eldraine yet from your pre-release? Or maybe you ordered a box? Let me know. So we've got a Scorching Dragonfire. Another Garenbrig Carver, Lockwain Gargoyle, Lockthwain, Lock something like that, Insatiable Appetite. So yeah, a whole host of foils. This is a dream for anyone that has sort of that shiny uh, streak running through them like myself. That is lovely art there as well. Jeremy Wilson, foil storybook of the Embereth Shieldbreaker. Love it. A Trail of Crumbs. Shepherd of the Flock. This just reminds me of sort of Rebecca Gray artwork a little bit. Um, the storybooks just takes me back. We've got Oko's Hospitality, a full extended art, not full art, extended art, Charming Prince, that is lush. And a foil Love Struck Beast and a fairy token as well. So, because there's only 12 packs, this video is actually going to be quite quick, depending how much I start gushing over the, the amazing art. Um, yeah, so there's chances to open things from the Brawl decks. There's a uh, chance to open Truthful Art Planeswalkers, all sorts. 
So let's start just moving through these fairly quickly until we get to something really astounding. That is lovely. Queen of Ice and that sort of misty stuff around it just shines really, really nicely. Um, deafening Silence, that looks pretty cool in foil. Those mouths, that is a lovely job. Uh, Non-foil, Fairy Guild, Mother, Reaper and Rose Thorn. Uh, we've got a Thorn Mammoth, uh, so that's from the Brawl deck. We've got a Doom Foretold from the Brawl deck as well in an extended art. That is lovely. Not foil. They feel... Whoa! What's the chances of that happening? Okay. Yeah, so that's interesting. And they've got different um, collector numbers as well. So don't truly understand that. Please point out what I'm missing down in the comments below. Nice shiny giant. Wow, that is awesome. Actually, let's move... Let's move good old uh, Emery over here as well. Right. Yeah, doing well on these um, on these cards, getting some nice ones. They've changed the packaging on these. I know I haven't always, but if you see my old pack opening videos, you'll know that I'm awful at opening packs anyway, but these are particularly uh, painful. Ooh. Damn, that is nice. That is so cool. Uh, we get the fling, another turtle, lots of turtle action going on in this set. That is lovely as well. Mmm, nice. Right, uh, foil animating fairy. I think we got a non foil version earlier. Lonesome unicorn uh, from Alana Dana, fast becoming one of my favourite artists after those showdown lands. Another Rimrock Knight, another Curious Pair. We've got a Chittering Rich. And the extended art is a Clackbridge Troll. And we've got a foil regular art, Gad Gadwick the Wizened as well. Knight token with some food on the back. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm liking these packs so far. Definitely happy with this. Um, yeah, we'll have to have a look at uh, what the value is afterwards uh, to see if it's uh, worth anything near the asking price. But yeah, so far, super happy with this. Uh, that looks really nice in foil as well. Oops, sorry for the camera shake there. Clumsy hands. And we get the foil Merfolk Secret Keeper. And then... Um, um, oh, where have we gone? There we go. There's the alternate art, Flax and Intruder. Awesome. Reaper of Night, Rosethorn Acolyte, and we get an Alela, Artful Provocateur. So this is one of the actual face commanders from the Brawl decks. So open one of those, get f extended art, Fires of Invention. That is awesome. And a Foil Sundering Stroke as well. Get Wolf Token. So yeah, I don't even know which one to leave on top there. They're all pretty awesome, but let's just keep with the theme of um, the extended art ones. So how many is that? We've only opened four packs. Um, and already onto some winners there. Five Invention is such a cool card. Right. So a Witching Well, Crash and Drawbridge, another Wolf. Oh, that looks really nice. It's quite dark though, but just that hint of shine coming through it really makes it work. Uh, into the story, that looks really nice. We've got a Beanstalk Giant, Order of Midnight. That is really cool. That's Seb McKinnon. Nice. Uh, Queen of Ice in non-foil. Uh, Silverwing Squadron, so that's from the uh, Sir Gwyn Knight deck uh, that that's found in. And an extended art circle of loyalty. Fantastic. And a foil mythic, is that the first mythic that we've got? Yeah, so this is the first mythic that we've opened and it's a double mythic. Awesome. Yeah, that Great Henge is looking really powerful as well. All of the legendary artifacts are. That one's a bit more specific in what you can use it for though, I guess. Uh, 
Right, so I think are we, yeah, so just uh, this one's approaching the halfway mark. Nice foil version of those. Awesome. I'm gonna say awesome a lot, nice a lot, and oh wow, a lot in this video. So yeah, running out of adjectives. That looks really cool. There's Lonesome Unicorn again. We've got an Oofy. And then we've got a non-foil but extended art Emery as well. That looks lovely. And we've got another Fires of Invention. We're getting a lot of the same cards here, a lot of duplicates. But yeah, that is pretty cool. So yeah, got those two next to each other there. <laughs> Yeah, so distribution is feeling a little bit weird, to be honest, with the amount of double ups that we're getting, but yeah, and it's doubling up on really good cards, so not so much of an issue uh, that I'm going to cry about it or anything. So yeah, lots and lots of lovely ordinary ones. Love Struck Beast, what a fantastic card. Order of Midnight again, Smith and Swordmaster, that one's really nice, I don't think we've seen that one yet. Lush. Um, so that's from the box again, so that's a duplicate. And we've got a return of the Wild Speaker, but not the actual Wild Speaker Garrick himself yet. And Black Lance Paragon as well, human token. Cool. So one, two, three, four, five packs left including this one that I'm just about to bodge my way into. Cool. Oh, that's nice. It's meant to be a mirror anyway, and it pretty much is with that foil treatment on it. Smitten Swordmaster, Charmed Sleep, a foil ginger brew. Love it. <laughs> that card is awesome. Um, Ogre Errant. A bartered cow, and look at the shine on that hide. Wow. Get a Rose Thorn Acolyte, uh, Sir Allen. Uh, foil Frogify, lovely. Okay, so we ran into some very technical difficulties there. Basically, my camera decided to mess up, but this was the pack that we were just on with the Frogify and it had a extended art sundering stroke and a foil extended art torbran so really really chuffed with that proper red mages pack and yeah that dwarf just looks amazing so i didn't realize that it had all gone wrong and i carried on cracking packs so this is the next one that was open so i'll just quickly flick through these that fairy guide mother looks amazing um, yeah, I can't believe that technical difficulties are struck on this of all uh, box openings. So Fate of Wishes was the rare. We got more of the storybooks and we got a foil storybook giant killer, which is amazing. And an extended art once upon a time and a rare banish into fable. So that was all that I'd opened whilst my camera decided to play up and I was just starting to crack this one when I noticed that it had gone. So apologies for that, but it wouldn't be a Digital Armour video without something like that going wrong. So Mystic Sanctuary. And then we'll flick through a lot of these here. Ooh, Foil Smitten Swordmaster. Lovely. Searing Barrage, Rally for the Throne, a Foil Grumgully, the Generous. He's a pretty cool legendary. And we get to Silver Flame Squire, another Carver, Reaper of Night. So, rare number one, Fairy Formation in a non foil. We get an extended art worthy knight. Awesome, this card is looking pretty strong at the moment. We get. What? I don't understand. So this has happened twice now, I think. Yeah, it happened with the Doom Foretold as well, didn't it? So yeah, extended and regular, well, not regular, it's foil, together in the same pack. Blimey, that is, yeah. If anyone else has opened up these boosters, let me know if this has happened to you at all, if you've ended up with sort of the same card twice in your rare slots. 
Mm. And I opened up to not the extended art, the normal version in the pre-release kit that I uh, opened up on the channel the other day, last week, sometime. Uh, you can find a link to that up in the top right hand corner. Okay, so we get a non-storybook uh, guide mother. We finally get a foil lonesome unicorn. Love it. Might frame that to be honest, it is so nice. Uh, Look throwing paladin glass casket. We get a foil Falmire Knight. That has just got the hint of the foil on the body of that uh, zombie. Animating fairy. Uh, non foil Falmire Knight. Non foil tactician. And we get Rowan. Cool. So we've opened up Rowan Fearless Spark Mage. I believe that that is one of the Planeswalker deck ones, maybe. And we get an extended art on the Stone Coil Serpent. And we get a foil rare Murderous Rider storybook. That is so cool. Amazing. Right, let's pop that there and onto the final pack. Fingers crossed this last little section won't be plagued with technical difficulties. <laughs> Can't believe that happened. Right, so let's just flick through a lot of these unless we spot something super eye catching. Tempting Witch looks good in foil. Okay, so we've got non foil giant killer, non foil unicorn, merfolk secret keeper. We get a Windscarred Crag as one of our Brawl Deck inserts. We get the extended art of Castle Embereth. Lovely. We get a art, um, not an art, a foil, which is Vengeance. And we get a shiny boar token as well. So finishing off relatively strong there. So there we have it, that was the Throne of Eldraine Collector's Booster set and yeah, I think that I did alright there. I am definitely not complaining, like I say, I had store credit. I don't know if I would honestly go and buy this if I hadn't. However, a lot of these cards are going to be worth something. They're going to accrue value, in my opinion. I might be wrong, I'm no Rudy, but that's what I'm feeling, so super, super happy with this. If you want to see me crack even more packs of all kinds of magic sets, then there's a playlist of those videos right here. Or if you just fancy something a little bit different, why not check out this video? And if you haven't already, don't forget to tap that llama to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you stay up to date when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers!